Hello everyone, this is a blown up view of the last video that I did, um, non-farm payrolls that came out uh, uh, Friday. The first week of every month, I tell traders, you must trade minutes after the news after non-farm payrolls, where a lot of the novice traders don't understand is they always wait until uh, uh, the news has settled down a half an hour or 45 minutes, when in reality, the institutions are pretty much done in the market. So um, I teach traders to trade on news events minutes after the news. There's a high reward to risk. And um, I, I just uh, let this methodology out to the public about three and a half months ago. I have a, a huge archive of live trades, just like the last video. You can play it on this trade from Friday. So please play that trade. I want to blow it up for you so you can see exactly uh, the methodology of what I, I do. Um, I have a huge archive of live trades over the past three and a half months. Um, oil this week was a 100 tick uh, plus trade. Uh, the euro again last week had a couple great trades. The euro again um, on non-farm payrolls. But the methodology is this, okay? There's a certain level that the institutions at 8.30, the non-farm payrolls release uh, 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 report came out. And every single month, there's there's over 500 news events, okay? There's over 500 news events released in the market, economic news events. They are the economic barometer of the market. And the institutions, what they do is, is they love to stop the public out and then drive the market in the direction that they're going to make money from. And what I know how to do is I know how to read price action minutes after the news release. Okay, I teach you how to do this in my workshops. What you do, I have a methodology that right when uh, the news, port, news report is released, I know an exact zone to be a buyer or seller, okay? This is a trend change that happened on Friday. I know a certain line in the sand, a certain area where they like to reverse the market. The market was in an uptrend, had a uh, actually a symmetrical breakout in my live room that some of my members got before the news came out from uh, right here around 30 all the way up to 75. And then we got flat in the live room. And then what happened was, was that we had the news release. There was a trend change at this level right here. It told me that the market was going down. I know exactly the level the institutions look at. And this happens on all the markets. I don't care if you're an S&P 500 trader, if you trade uh, the Forex, if you trade the futures market, any type of market works with this methodology. Well, this bar told me that we're going to go short, okay? And this works on a blank chart. You can get a blank chart, and this methodology is really, really powerful. So right here, we're looking for a retest short. I have a certain pull-in technique where I tell you the exact bar to get into after news releases. So I knew to look for a short. So I didn't get a pull-in bar here, didn't get a pull-in bar here, never got a pull-in bar here, never got a pull-in bar here. Here's where I got a pull-in bar below the low of this bar. And there is my short, 35, 97, six contracts. Um, and play the video, this last video, I trade it live before all these bars even come up. And I do that in my workshops also. I actually trade it to show you uh, live before the news even comes out. I get on there at 8.28 and I tell you exactly what I'm gonna do when the market opens up. So here was a short at, uh, at, at 97. Now, the beautiful thing about it as a progression, you can play the previous video, it shows you exactly before this even all happened. But you can see I short 97 and we got all the way down to um, a lot of my news traders, uh, the, the level to stop was 36.25. So if they entered off a tick chart, they were already up all the way down here for 60 ticks already, okay? If you enter off of a minute chart like we I teach you, then you had a nice trade already to take a partial position off. If you play my last video, I show you what my targets are though. I had a hard target, I had a hard target of 51. Now as the market came back up, as the market came back up, I told all my live room member, uh, uh, my members that I had market profile, which I have market profile in my room at 3,600. I'm looking for another short at 3,600. If you look, I called the exact high right there on that retracement from 3562. I said 3600 is a short, major resistance. The high is 3603. I wait to a pull-in bar, which I teach you in my live day trading room. The pull-in bar is 3590. I got four more short, took uh, uh, some off at 3581. And guess what? There's my target, 3551. So my original target when I first got short from 3620, was 35.51, okay, from the minute level right here, from the minute pull in at this level, it was 97 to 51. 
97 to 51, or if you got in right here, which I teach you how to do, you went from 20 all the way down to 51, okay? The trade that I took right here was 97 short down to 51. It rallied, it, I mean, I took some off, and I'll show you how to do that with my symmetry dots. Then I told all the traders in the room, look for a retest the market profile at 3603, 3600. It comes up, we know an exact bar to pull in. This is called a pull-in bar, and I teach you how to do that in the room. You know, nine out of 10 traders lose because they don't know how to pull themselves in the market and where to place their stops, okay? There's our pull-in bar. So look at that beautiful trade. And I have tons and tons of these trades already recorded, um, but you can see our target at 51 hit. So just replay that video. I just wanna blow it up for you uh, because I go through a 13 minute video in the previous video. It's skinny down a little bit so you can't see these bars real big like this. So that's why I wanna put this on for you so you can see exactly what we're doing. Remember, this works on any markets. There's over 500 news events a month, 500 news events a month. I show you the top ones. The first week of every every month, you got to trade non-farm payrolls. You got to trade retail sales the second Friday. You got to trade UK retail sales. You got to trade GDP. You got to trade the interest rate decisions. You got to trade the Fed news. We buy and sell minutes after the Fed announces rates. Okay? We buy and sell Fed minutes. We buy and sell interest rate decisions. We buy and sell the CPI, the PPI. I know the exact level to the bar where it has to reverse. And if it doesn't reverse, which it should have reversed right here today. It should have went up right here, right? But we never got a pull-in bar. And then we had this candle close right here. It told me, look for a retest. And then a pull-in bar. It tells me the exact bar to get into, where to place my stop, which is a small stop. And then we have these 50, 60, 70 tick trades. We just had a trade like this on oil. We trade oil crude inventories every week at 1030 Eastern Standard Time. And we had a hundred tick trade this week on oil. Okay. So, um, uh, if you got any questions, go to daytradingthefutures.com. You can come in for my three-day free trial in the live room, symmetryindicators.com. Or if you just want to buy the methodology itself and come into my workshops, my free workshops, um, you can trade minutes after the news and not even come to the live room and just come to my workshops and be a news trader. Okay? Everybody have a good one. I just want to blow this up for you. I will start putting these on YouTube. Um, the beautiful thing, Cam Studio, is allowing us to post on, um, on YouTube now over 10 minute videos. And um, like I said, we have uh, we have a live day trading room um, that we've been in for two years now. And uh, we have a lot of great uh, uh, members that uh, benefit minutes after trading the news. Okay, everybody take care and uh, I'll see you in the room. Or if you wanna come to my workshop and learn how to trade minutes after the news releases, we do have a calendar and we teach you which news releases to trade. You'll have a roadmap every Sunday night on what to trade for the following week. I don't care if you trade the CAD, I don't care if you trade the euro, the British pound, the Japanese yen. I don't care if you trade uh, the uh, S&P 500, the NASDAQ futures. I don't care what you trade because this system works with all markets. Okay, everybody take care. Have a good one and I'll, I'll uh, talk to you soon.